Hey, it's Harlan here with Prestige Trailers. Today I'd like to welcome you on a walk around with our new renowned series Beaver Tail Trailers that we're currently offering in the market today. We currently offer the Beaver Tail Trailers in two different uh, models. The Force Line Trailer, which is our all steel construction and the Renown Series that we're exploring today. The Renown Series trailer uh, consists of a, a steel beam joined together with aluminum cross members, uh, aluminum front bolster. Typically a Renown Series combo trailer will have a, an aluminum rear, rear bolster, but we add some extra strength in with the steel at the back end of the trailer. So the main beam is all steel. Cross members spaced every 12 inches are aluminum, as well as a side rail, rub rail, Stake pockets are all aluminum constructed as well. Uh, I did mention the aluminum side rail. Uh, you'll notice it's inset to uh, protect the conspicuity tape along the side of the trailer. As well, you'll see uh, there's a flag holder that is available for at both the front and the back of the trailer. While we're at the front, you'll notice as we go through the trailer, we have chain pullouts located along the side rail of the trailer, again, as tie-down points. And this particular trailer has the sliding barrel winches. You, you can go to a fixed three bar winch, a, f a sliding three bar winch. So there's several different winch options that may fit your needs. All the tie down points on this trailer, pipe spools, stake pockets, chain pullouts, winches, they're all rated for 5,000 pounds. Uh, there's a little green decal at the front of each corner of the trailer that'll tell you what that rating is. Our side rail is an aluminum extrusion that is a seven inch diameter. It's a very robust side rail that we put on the trailer. It goes right from the front to the back of the trailer. This particular trailer comes with uh, several different options. I mentioned the beaver tail option that we'll be having a look at as well. This customer has elected to add the pop-up ramps that come right out of the floor to give you the nice access up to the top of the ramp. And we'll show you how flush this mounts inside of the floor. We, we talked about this trailer being equipped with sliding winches. The one sacrifice you do make when you, when you add this ramp option to the trailer, we do have to fix the winches within that ramp area. So have a look inside of here. The, we dropped the cross members down to accommodate this floor to be mounted flush. And in those areas, we broke the rub rail, mounted a fixed winch, and so those, these are spaced every two feet with, with chain pullets as well. One thing to note is there are extra stake pockets available should you want to use a load bunk in this trailer. Our uh, deck height is 35 inches. We also offer the standard 41 inch deck height. So it's just a little higher deck height. And how we achieve that is just a little different tire size in the back. The 35 inch deck height that we're looking at today has a 17.5 inch tire. The standard 41 inch deck has a 22.5 inch tire. So the trailer virtually is identical in construction other than the fact that uh, we have a lower ride height. Some of the differences of course are the, the slope angle. When you've got a higher drop like this, this slope angle will increase but the back angle will be more shallow. Again, this one, the front has a 12 degree slope with a 17 degree in the back. The, the 41 has a 15 and 16 degree slope angle. So there is a slightly steeper slope angle on the upper kick here as well. There are several different light options that are also available on this trailer that we should talk about today. The standard lighting package is what's required by DOT, so we really have one light in the center of the main rail, as well as identification lights at the front and back of the trailer. Some of the optional lighting packages will give you more lights along the side rail, up to seven along at the side rail. The other thing to note is you can add a rear strobe light, and the switch would be located in the airbox located along the side of the trailer. Again, talk to your sales rep to see which lighting package might work best for you for the application that you're currently using them in. Coming back to, to towards the back of the trailer, we're, we're gonna see the suspension. The trailer has been ordered with a 10 foot two inch uh, center to center spread, tandem spread axle. Again, I should mention the length of this trailer is a 53 foot tandem. This particular unit has a 17.5. Hendrickson's suspension is a standard option on all of our trailers. I, again, we mentioned this trailer has 10 foot two inch spread. It does allow, allow room to have a toolbox mounted between the uh, axles. Uh, it's just an open area as well. You'll note there's a, a mud flap behind each axle here as well to protect that toolbox 
to keep debris from blowing on top of it. How we accommodate the 35 inch deck height or to allow us to get that close, we, we also put a steel pan over each wheel and that allows us to, uh, to tighten up the, the web to give us that low deck height as well. So you'll notice the, the steel pans above each wheel are flush mounted as well so there's there's no difference in height as you're driving onto the trailer and as while we're talking about flooring we should talk about the three different options that are available for flooring on this trailer the unit we're at looking at today is a fur floor would be the standard option you you can choose to order an aluminum floor with some hardwood nailer strips or you can add a complete hardwood floor as well so there are three options for flooring again this unit that you're looking at today also does have aluminum wheels so we do have steel wheel option available as well as a all aluminum wheel option the the unit you're looking at today is a wheel package that's offered by prestige and it is similar to the hxl3 package where it has an oil filled wheel end we have the same components within that wheel end as is offered by our manufacturer so we do have a national seal in addition you can add the hendrickson tire max pro which is an inflation system it's a great option to offer on on custom fleets where you're not having to check out your tire pressure every day the system will do that for you it'll uh, keep those tires inflated to whatever the preset pressure rating is and also deflate should they over inflate as you're using it As we get to the back of the trailer, we're, we're going to talk about uh, the beaver tail option. Something to note, there are several different ramp options available. This particular unit has the four aluminum ramps across. Our standard would be the outside two ramps. And there's two configurations of ramps that are available. This, this unit you'll see here today has the open ramp. It allows the debris to fall through. We do offer a smooth top as well. It'll look kind of like the rest of your deck of the trailer. And the nice part about the four ramp system, it allows you to use this trailer as a full 53 foot trailer on those applications when you aren't actually using them as a ramp. So it becomes a full deck trailer to be used just like a regular drop deck. So the important thing to have a look at is we still offer, we, we cannot offer the sliding winch at the back of the uh, beaver tail. So we do have fixed mounted barrel winches on this particular unit with a broken rub rail. Pretty much standard on the back end of this trailer you do have a winch option of a, of a three bar as well you'll notice as we flip this ramp over you'll see we build cleats into the floor to to allow you that extra traction to crawl up on top of your deck we talked about the the rear bolster and you'll notice that the the rear section of this trailer is steel constructed uh, just to add some extra uh, strength in this area and, and the very back bolster of the trailer. Okay, we're at the back of the trailer. We folded the ramps down so you can have a better look to see the nice incline. The rear ramps of these trailers, each ramp is rated for, a, has a 15,000 pound rating. And there's a decal on all the ramps that'll tell you what those ramps are rated for. So the back is rated for 15,000 pounds per ramp or 30,000 per pair. And the upper ramp, as you see at the front of the trailer, are rated at 6,000 pounds each or 12,000 pounds per pair. The aluminum ramps are, are lighter weight than the steel ramps that we do offer, but we still do offer you a, a spring assist that does help lighten the load when you've got to flip them over onto the trailer. They are not hydraulically operated. These are manual lift ramps, so we do add that extra little spring in there to to assist you as you're folding the ramps over, making that job easier for you. Opposite the uh, fixed winches that we have at the front and the back of the trailer, on the beaver tail, we did have to, to give you some tie down point because of those fixed winches needing some place to tie down. On this unit, you'll see that there are some J-hooks along the area where we do have the sliding winches. We do have a flat bar that we fasten underneath the trailer to the aluminum cross members, uh, the full length of that trailer. So it does give you that that tie down point you can drop your hook between the side rail and the rub rail and fasten it underneath the trailer to, to, to give you that nice tie down point. The black line here is your main steel beam and we, we give the trailer a, a rating that you can how many pounds you can put every on four feet on eight feet, 12 feet, 20 feet, the length of the trailer. We do not have a rating on the side rail itself, but we realize a trailer of this construction will be used to be mounting material on the side of the trailer as well. So we do support these side rails with, with a knee brace. It's fastened from the main rail of the trailer to the bottom side of this rail every two feet to, to make this as stiff as possible.
It's Arlen here, and I'd really like to thank you for coming on our walk around with the Renown Beaver Tail trailer and some of the exciting different options that we do offer on this trailer. For more information on this trailer, please visit us at prestigetrailer.com.